Refractive Lens Exchange, often referred to by its initials, RLE, and is also known as a clear lens extraction, is a procedure that involves replacing the eye's natural lens with an intraocular lens, IOL, as an alternative to other vision correction procedures, such as PRK or LASIK. It can correct pre-existing nearsightedness, farsightedness, astigmatism, and presbyopia. Presbyopia is a progressive condition typically requiring individuals over the age of 40 to become dependent on glasses for near vision. There are three anatomical factors that contribute to how well the eye can focus. The curvature of the cornea, the power of the eye's internal natural lens, and the length of the eye. Most vision correction procedures change the focusing power of the eye by changing the curvature of the cornea. RLE, on the other hand, changes the focusing power of the eye with an intraocular lens of the appropriate power, which is determined by the length of the eye and its corneal curvature. Over three million eyes each year in the United States receive IOLs when undergoing cataract surgery, which uses the same highly successful surgical techniques used in RLE. RLE may be the procedure of choice for patients who are too nearsighted, too farsighted, or have corneas that are too thin for laser vision correction. It may also be a viable alternative for those over the age of 40 who wish to eliminate their dependence on bifocals or reading glasses, and for those individuals who may be showing early signs of developing cataracts. The primary reason you would want to have a refractive lens exchange would be to reduce your dependence on glasses and contact lenses. However, having a refractive lens exchange now also means you will not have to have cataract surgery in the future. There are many types of intraocular lenses that will improve your nearsightedness, farsightedness, or astigmatism, and even your presbyopia. A standard monofocal IOL provides vision at only one point of focus, which is most often set to provide good distance vision. Standard monofocal IOLs, however, do not correct astigmatism. Astigmatism occurs when the cornea, or outer window of the eye, is more curved in one direction than in the other. This creates multiple points of focus on the retina and results in blurry vision. So unless you have your astigmatism treated, your vision could still be blurry. If you have only a minor degree of astigmatism, your surgeon may be able to correct your astigmatism by placing microscopic arcuate incisions in the periphery of your cornea during your procedure. If you have a moderate to high degree of astigmatism, you can choose to have an advanced monofocal toric IOL that has built-in astigmatism correction. Standard monofocal IOLs can also be used to reduce one's dependence on glasses if you should elect to have monovision or blended vision. With monovision, the lens implant in your dominant eye would be set for distance vision, and the lens implant in your non-dominant eye would be set for near vision. Your brain then automatically selects either the near or distant image that you wish to see. Trifocal, multifocal, accommodating, and extended depth of focus IOLs are different types of advanced IOLs that are designed to provide you with a broad range of vision when implanted in both eyes, allowing you to read and see in the distance with little, if any, dependence on glasses or contact lenses. Which IOL is best for you will depend on the unique characteristics of your eye, as well as your lifestyle needs. Your procedure will be performed in an outpatient surgical suite. Your eye will be completely numbed with eye drops or local anesthesia. Femtosecond laser technology has significantly improved the precision of several of the most critical steps that were performed manually with traditional refractive lens exchange surgery. To begin, primary and secondary stair-step incisions are created on the edge of your cornea. 
If you have pre-existing astigmatism, arcuate incisions in the periphery of your cornea may be made to treat your astigmatism. The laser then creates an opening called a capsular rexus in the thin capsular membrane that surrounds your natural lens to provide access to your lens. The laser then softens and divides the lens into smaller sections in order to remove it through the small incision. The intraocular lens that you choose is then inserted into the capsular membrane that held your natural lens. The stair-stepped incision is self-sealing usually, but not always, requiring no sutures. How well you will see immediately after surgery varies quite a bit from one person to another. Some patients see improvement in their vision immediately, while for others, vision may be blurry and fluctuate in clarity for several days to several weeks, or occasionally longer. Most people resume their normal activities within a day or two. RLE surgery has a similar success rate as cataract surgery. According to the American Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgery, more than 98% of cataract patients have their vision successfully improved with cataract surgery. However, it is important to understand that since RLE involves surgery inside the eye, there are a number of side effects and complications associated with RLE that are different from other vision correction procedures performed on the cornea. You will be given additional information about these risks that will help you decide if RLE is right for you. Thank you for your trust and confidence in choosing our clinic for your vision correction needs.